coming to you live from Slim and Main Stadium in Tara Bay, home of the Mutineers. This stadium is filled to capacity, and this crowd is feeling it. Yeah, especially that guy with that sword in his back. Well, what do you expect? It was free Saber Day for the Mutineers. First thousand fans get a rusty dull sword. And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. The Snuffle Thrills Battle. The Terror Bay Mutineers. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. If the sound of a torn Achilles followed by laughter and taunting brings a smile to your face, you are tuned to the right place. Hi everyone, Grim Blitzrow and the MFL crew is coming to you live on game day. Bricks, any uh, thoughts on today's game? Um, I thought I had one, but uh, I think I might have forgotten it. Oh, I remember. Uh, I forgot who's playing today. Careful what you ask for, Grim. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot. Much like my wedding night, there was a big explosion. But then everyone left disappointed. Everyone? You had more than two people in the room? Yeah, the guy filled in the clown. Somebody's got to make the balloon animals. Hot two. Hot three. Something going here. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 And that's the way to get the sticks moving. He picks up five on that play. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Four on that reception. Second down and six. Ooh, Opie's got a good chiropractor. Third down and three. So at the end of the first quarter, we've got a scoreless game. Just like you love life. And it's first and ten. He's off to the races. Caught for the first down. And it's first and ten. 
First and ten. And he was running like he had a load in his pants. Picks up maybe two. Uh, we always ran with a load in our pants, Grim. It's a pretty good defensive tool. Yeah, except the zombies. They are freaks. for a first down to keep the drive alive. And he takes a timeout here. They have two left. I wonder if he has a plan. Well, maybe he's just going to take the teeth out of the back of his neck that have been stuck there since the whole play. That was a good throw. And assuming he was aiming for the ground. Second down and ten. When you hear the sounds of bone snapping like that, Grim, you assume the worst. I assume that it was even worse than what you may have assumed. I assume you're right. Yeah! Third and two. Are they desperate, or are they in control? Yeah, I'm speaking from experience, Grim, but it really is hard to do both at the same time. And I have mastered it. Now that's what's so frustrating about kickers. They're all head cases. All that work, and they come up empty. That sucks. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. Oh, I love this dirty trick. If you don't hear it coming, it's you right on your ass. It's cold. And he snatches that one out of the air for a first down. See if they can get something going here. <laughs> Under two minutes of timeout means the QB is playing beat the clock, and he better win. formation to try to conserve time. And the defense puts one over on the quarterback with a sticky ball dirty trick. The only thing the QB can do now is run for his life. Or die. Second down. They stop the clock, but they only have one timeout left. Uh, that's okay, Grim. They can have nine. That's, uh, that's nice, Bricks. But our timeouts are for our sponsors, and we need money more than they do. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. We have got a scoreless defensive struggle. Stay tuned for halftime, brought to you by Bob Satan Industries. They don't just make food for you, they make food from you. Quarter about to get underway, still scoreless. Well, it's been about as exciting as watching my grandma clip her toenails. Although I gotta say, watching her take on that little cone is exciting. It's usually a lot of blood.
The teams are lined up for the kickoff. Not a bad kick, but not a great one either. Well, his nickname is lukewarm. Proud of that? Yeah, that's why he named his club the Louis Lukewarm Friends. Their marketing team hates it.
tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics with their fingers in my face. Man, you can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? Second down in a mile. <laughs> Two minutes left in the game. Hang on. needs a miracle. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He can have the IQ of a rutabaga. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point in the game. I won't listen to this blasphemy. Saves from clock by calling a timeout. They have one left. <laughs> First and two. You gotta be kidding me! My sister could have made that kick! Isn't your sister in a wheelchair? I know, right? When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay.
Breaks overtime is a war with some basic rules. The first touchdown wins the game, but if the team that receives the kickoff gets a field goal, then the other team is allowed a possession too. After that, whomever scores wins. Ah, oh, holy Montezuma's revenge! That's a cracker pinch of die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful. Wouldn't it, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. <laughs> all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. It sounds like he didn't really think it through because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but they're not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? I don't really know right now. What day is it? First down! Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. And it's first and ten. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and six. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, give me an example so I'll watch out where the Huskies go. Don't you eat the yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But they're fudge ice cream sandwiches. Eh, they didn't taste so good. Target more often. And it's first and ten.
watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every.